back in October for the first election, turnout topped 75 percent. It quickly became clear this vote would be very different. At this particular polling station, there were relatively long queues when polling started. This is the situation two hours later. More than two million were registered to vote at more than 5,400 polling stations. But called on to turn out hours after Christmas Day, many chose to stay away. What I notice is that the enthusiasm um, this time around is not so much as compared to the, the first time. Still, those who voted were happy enough. Oh, well, it was very good, very easy, quiet. This morning, the first time, it was very tough. And right now, because we see a two candidates. This trip around, only for the presidency, and then the place is like, you know, quiet. I came here, I never spent less than 10 minutes. I was able to catch my vote, and I'm very pleased with the, with, the, with the process. Observers also gave an early positive assessment. The good thing is polls are open. Um, and we, the people that we've talked to uh, have been very pleased. We've met some people that just proudly show that mark on their, now it's their little finger, the ink, that showed they, they voted. And that means that they've had the opportunity to participate. They've had an opportunity of, to say what kind of government they want. The Electoral Commission says the results should be out this week. Uh, we are hoping that everything goes well, uh, maybe between three, four days max, we should be able to release the result. George Ware won the first round, but not enough votes for an outright victory. In the lead up to this runoff, the rivals opted for different campaign styles. Ware preferring large rallies, Joseph Bukai going for town hall style meetings. The winner may well be whoever convinced more of their supporters to turn up. Robert Nagila, CJTN, Monrovia, Liberia.